Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm going to be doing a Cerberus guide uh, directed towards Iron Man. Obviously, if you're not an Iron Man, you can, of course, use this video. And I'm going to be going a little bit in more depth than other guides and trying to explain everything. So, if you're an Iron Man, most of y'all are not going to have a Spectral Shield, which is going to reduce... Whenever Cerberus hits you with the Ghost Attacks, it will, instead of them taking 30 prayer down it will only take half of that which will be 15 so if you're a main account it's recommended to use a hosta and a spectral if you're an iron man uh, and you have a spectral shield go ahead and get your hosta and use it on crush attack it is absolutely worth it to use that method um a setup for an iron man the next best thing you can do if you don't have a hosta um Basically, if you don't have a Spectral, you're going to be wanting to use a Bludgeon. And if you don't have a Bludgeon, you're going to want to use a Hosta. And if you don't have a Hosta, you're going to be want to be using a Whip. The good news is that Cerberus has really low uh, defense, and so you don't have to worry too much. You can still kill it with the Whip. It's just it's weak to crush, so that the damage from the Bludgeon is fantastic. It's better than the Hosta. It's two-handed, so you can't use a Spectral, but if you don't have one, Bludgeon's where you want to go. Uh, next, you can use a Hosta and probably a Dragon Defender. Um, you can use, for special attack weapons, you can use a Dragon Warhammer or a Dragon Holly. The Dragon Holly actually hits really nice on Cerberus, and I'm going to be using the Dragon Holly considering that most Iron Men probably don't have the Warhammer. Um, Honestly, I don't even think the Warhammer is better. I think it's up to preference. Uh, the Halley hits really good, and Cerberus already has such weak defense that I don't even know if you should bring the Warhammer. That's just what I've been using for a very long while. Next thing you want to do is bring a Super Attack and Super Strength. If you're a main, change it with a Super Combat. I don't recommend bringing a Super Defense because for Cerberus, if you're going to get hit, you're going to get hit. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't think your defense plays as much of a role here and I don't think it's worth using one inventory space for a super defense um, pot. Check it out. This person just got a Sir Pet. So awesome. Anyway, uh, for prayer, you're going to bring five prayer pots and if you're out of prayer pots like me because I've been doing a lot of Cerberus, you're going to be wanting to use anything that gives you prayer like restore. That's one thing about Cerberus is you really want to save up on your prayer pots. Next thing is good food. The better the food, the longer your trips are going to be. So it's totally up to you. Many people just bring monkfish. But if you want longer trips like me for the sake of the video, I'm going to be doing uh, anglerfish and uh, mantas. So that's my inventory setup. These, of course, would be regular prayer pots. And then my gear, um, you may want to switch this out for a berserker imbued. My berserker is not imbued, so I'm just bringing the ring of suffering. And I'm also not bringing a super defense pot, so I feel like that extra defense may be better. Truly, it's just preference. Um, and of course, if you don't have a fury, you can switch that out for a glory. So we're going to be starting in Falador. Highly recommend 80 agility. Um, we're going to be headed to the Taverly Dungeon. If you are uh, an Iron Man, if you've gotten to 91 Slayer, the chances of you knowing where Taverly Dungeon is is really high. So just go over that block and head like you're going to Blue Dragons. Um, the next thing is 70 Agility is going to allow you to go through that pipe to the Blue Dragons. If you don't even have 70 Agility, you're going to have to bring a Dusty Key and walk all the way around. That's highly not recommended. It's okay if you don't have 80 Agility, but 70 Agility is going to cut down your strips significantly. So if you got uh, 70 Agility, you're going to go through the obstacle and walk around through the Black Demons. But if you're like me and you have 80 Agility or 70 six or something like that or 74 and you want to boost with the summer's pie that's fine i put on my protect from prayer when i jump over because these spiders if they hit you they will poison you and i don't think it's worth bringing in a super anti-pot okay so you can keep your prayer on if you want through these hellhounds but we're going to be going to cerberus's lair which is right here cave i uh, just enter that cave and once you get here um if it's your first time going into this layer, you're going to have to talk to the key master and go through all the available options. So when you talk to him, you have, um, uh, I've already been through all the options, but you're going to be going through all those options. And then you're going to have three different sections and you can peek 
to see if anyone is in there. This has no adventures inside, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it. We're going to go see Cerberus. Now, Cerberus is not as bad as Sire. Uh, I've done about 500 Sire kills, and I thought Cerberus was going to be a lot worse than what it was, but he's not that bad. Um, I'm going to have a part of this clip where I am going to slow it down to show you when the ghosts come out. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of a fire flame issue. You're going to have to go over that and you'll take five damage. Sometimes it's not there. Sometimes it is. It's just a little glitch, I guess. I don't understand why Jagex can't fix that, but that's okay. So let's start off with that Halley spec. I've been using Warhammer, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, the Halley hits fantastic, though. Put on your Protect from uh, Mage and your Piety. The, you're going to be primarily focusing on just protect from mage. Also, you need to make sure that you're on crush, I think. Stab, stab, nah. Okay, I thought this uh, halberd could have like a crush attack, but it doesn't. But yeah, so you honestly, I think the Halley is actually worth it over the Dragon Warhammer because I've gotten down a ton of his health. That's so good. Um, but totally up to preference, but it kind of shows you you don't need a Warhammer for this at all. Um, now, there's going to be two special attacks that he does besides the regular melee and mage attack. Um, and that's going to be a Gur. When he Gurs, there's going to be pretty much fire or lava on the ground, and you're going to have to dodge it. Um, and then there's a Awu <laughs> attack, and that's when the ghost comes out. Here is where the ghosts are coming out. Go ahead and refill your prayer. I'm going to slow down this clip for us. Okay, I slow down the clip. He did a gur where he puts the lava on the ground right when this happened by protected mage. I went straight to range for the next ghost and I missed the mage uh, protection because I was out of prayer. You need to make sure your prayer's at full when the ghosts come out. So I did hit a get a 30 from the last ghost as you see. So I didn't do that great on that kill because I missed a prayer, but it kind of shows you that if you get hit from Cerberus, because you don't pray correctly, you get hit for 30 damage instead of 30 prayer. As you can see, he just hit Gur, and I moved very quickly. The quicker you move, um, the less damage you'll take, and just basically don't stand on the pools or next to the pools. And here we're following up this Cerberus kill. I'm going to go ahead and slow down the ghost on another kill very quickly so you can see, see how I you, what happens when you properly pray against the ghost. Okay, so here he's doing the Aru. Um, so green, you're going to protect, protect against range. Blue is mage and red is melee for the ghost. Um, so here, the first one, the in for that I'm going to pray against is range. So as you can see, I switched to my range prayer right now. Because the first ghost is green for range. Then I switch after that attack to melee. And then after the melee attack, I switch to mage for the mage attack. And my prayer then is dropped completely to zero from the ghost. So I take a sip of prayer pot. And I immediately put back on my Mage Prey, and you can also put on your Piety. But the, the Ghost can be extremely difficult, especially when he gurs at the same time. So you need to move your character and Prey. Otherwise, they're not that bad. Thank you so much for tuning in to this Cerberus Guide. That's where I'm going to end it. Make sure you look out for the Gur and you move as quick as possible and you get the timing on those ghosts down. Remember, the green is range, the melee is red, and mage is blue. And they will be in different orders each time. If you liked this video, give it a like. And you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. I have an Iron Woman series on my channel and showing my progression videos. I also have a bunch of guides and real life content. Like and subscribe!